To solve this question, we need to substitute in our known variables c and w into the equation to solve for the total value. But before we do that, we have a variable built into our variable w, so we need to substitute and solve that first. So let's plug in, we have w equals 2c divided by 4. Let's plug in 8 for z. So we'll have w equals 2 times 8 divided by 4, which will give us 2 times 8 is 16 divided by 4, and 16 divided by 4 equals 4. So we have two variables, z is equal to 8 and w is equal to 4. So now we can go through and make our substitutions to find our final answer. We'll have 3z, z is equal to 8, plus 2 over 5 times w, which is 4, minus 7. That's added to 5 times w, which is 4, minus 4, all over 3z, which would be 3 times 8. Now let's start to simplify, starting with our multiplication. 3 times 8 will give us 24, plus 2 in this numerator. 5 times 4 will give us 20, minus 7 in that denominator. 5 times 4 again is 20, minus 4 in that numerator. And 5, or excuse me, 3 times 8 is 24. Now let's do addition and subtraction to simplify. We have 24 plus 2, which will give us 26, over 20 minus 7, which is 13, plus 20 minus 4, which is 16, over 24. Now we must simplify these fractions. 13 can go into 26 exactly two times. So this fraction simplifies down to the whole number 2. And we know that whatever we simplify this fraction to be, it is going to be less than 1 because the numerator is less than the denominator. So we know that our whole number in our final answer should be 2, and that will allow us to eliminate answer choice C and answer choice D. So we are either going to get a simplified fraction of 2 thirds or 5 eighths. And if we look at our numerator, 5 cannot go into 16. There is no factor of 5 within the factors of 16. So it is most likely not B. And at that point, you could mark A and move on with the rest of the test if you needed some extra time. But for the sake of the video, let's go back and I'll show you exactly how to get answer choice A as your correct answer. To simplify this fraction, we need to divide the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor, which in this case would be 4. Or excuse me, it would actually be 8. 16 divided by 8 will give us 2, and 24 divided by 8 will give us 3. So all in all, we would have 2 plus 2 thirds, which would give us 2 and 2 thirds, making answer choice A our correct answer.